Florida's avocado trees are in danger, and the agricultural leaders at the University of Florida are working to combat the disease. And they're getting some help with their work thanks to a new $5 million grant. WFT's Madison Ginsburg is live at a community garden with how IFA's plans to keep the disease from spreading to other Florida crops. Behind me stands an avocado tree. Today I spoke with UF IFAS fruit crop specialist who spoke to me about the concerns he has for this insect affecting the agricultural industry. I also spoke with a community member who takes care of this very garden right here and she shared with me her passion that she has for taking care of this plant. Community gardener Maria Huff Edwards finds joy in taking care of her avocado tree along with other plants. Her biggest challenge is finding the time to prepare the soil and give it extra attention. Avocados like water, so you just have to make sure that it's, you give it tender, loving care. For avocado trees in Florida, one insect is proving to be an enemy, the ambrosia beetle. The bug infests trees and breeds inside. Then bacteria grows lethal laurel wilt, causing avocado trees to die. We went from about 740,000 avocado trees, we've lost about 30,000 avocado trees. The beetle started in Asia, moved to Georgia, then to Florida. Experts believe the bugs are en route to Mexico, causing chaos along the way. A huge economic problem for the producers. We've lost about, you know, 32% of the trees and our production has dipped by about 60%. The UF IFAS team secured the $5 million in grant funds. A portion of it will go towards fighting the ambrosia beetles that cause the deadly laurel wilt disease. A unique thing about this plant is that it is not affected in Asian countries. Researchers say that the plant has adopted an adaptation. This is very interesting because researchers are still trying to identify why this is happening in the state of Florida. Live at Dreamers Garden, Madison Ginsburg, WUFT News.